morning everyone so it's um tuesday now and um as most of you i think probably are aware i don't work on a tuesday or a wednesday or a thursday so um yeah the weather is absolutely gorgeous outside today and i've actually arranged um with a friend who was only just within the last um, few weeks moved to the area so i'm um, I've arranged to go out with her this morning. We're going to go out and have some breakfast. So um, I'm going to, to drive us to um, somewhere where we can get the tastiest breakfast ever. In fact, it's actually one of the same chains where I went a few weeks ago with my son. I did a vlog about it then. Um, you may have seen it, you may have not. But the breakfasts are to die for. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take her to one of those. And then there's... Um, a little there's a, a tarn that's nearby there so we're going to go I thought we could go there then have a wander around seeing as the weather is so beautiful so I can show her um, that as well because it's a nice place to go if you you can go for a walk with the family and take a dog and they have a dog so when um, yeah I thought that would be a nice morning show a bit of um, some places to go to and um, yeah I'm not sure what the plan is for this afternoon I think I've got to go food shopping which I hate doing because I did go last week and spent a fortune but it ended up being mainly things for my son to take to university so now we actually have no food in our house so yeah I think um, it's a, a nice morning and a very boring afternoon so I probably won't bother to take you on the food shop with me but I will try and get you some clips of um, as we go around at the tarn uh, because it is a gorgeous place and um yeah, it's actually quite near the airport as well. So um, you never know, I might see some planes taking off. But um, yeah, I'll let you see what we find. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh. So I've just arrived in um, in the Asda car park. And um, so it's now the afternoon and I've just realised I didn't do what um, I said I would do. And so I've had a gorgeous morning out at, um, well, we went for breakfast and had a delicious cooked breakfast and then went for a walk around the um, tarn that was nearby, like I said we would. And it was gorgeous because the weather is so nice today, as you can see, that's why I'm wearing my sunglasses. Um, so yeah, we went there and it was just a gorgeous walk around, but we were so busy talking and um, yeah, I actually completely forgot to take any video clips, sorry. Um, so I will at some point, I will have to go back there and get some of them for you because um, yeah, I was a bit dozy and I forgot. So I apologise for that. But now, um, yeah, I'm about to go in and do the horrible task of the food shopping because we literally have nothing in for meal times. So if I don't, we will have no food. So as much as I don't want to do it, I literally have no choice whatsoever. So yeah, um, so today really the vlog is a little bit rubbish because um, I didn't really get much for you apart from me rambling on like this. Um, but yeah, that's all there is. So sorry about that. And I'll try and do a better one next time, I promise. So, I'm um, back in the car after doing um, the food shop. There wasn't actually too much to do, but I still ended up spending over £100. I don't know how I've managed that, um, but yeah, somehow. It might actually be because I was a little bit naughty and um, I bought myself a new coat. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure what my husband will say, but... It is one, the style that I've been looking for for a while, so it's it's like, um, it's a long coat, nice thick, um, like wintry one, it's not waterproof, shower resistant, um, and it has a nice big hood. I love the coats, when it's really cold, you know, that come down to sort of like, just near, or above the knee, because they keep you really toasty warm. So, um, yeah, that's what I thought, and actually I thought it was quite well priced, it was um, £38, which actually isn't too bad. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll, once I get home, I'll um, I'll show you what it's like and um, I'll put it on and see, so you can see how it looks on me. But yeah, I think, I'm not sure if it's a little bit too big, but I got the smallest size that they do. I got the size 8. Um, but yeah, I'll just have to wait and see. I'll try it on again once I get home and see what I think. Maybe you could all tell me what you think as well. If you think it looks too big or not, I would... Um, appreciate that and uh, 
yeah, I'll have to decide then. So, this is how the coat looks. It's really difficult actually to try and give you a proper idea of it. Um, so yeah, I can't decide whether it's too big or not, but or if it looks too big. I'm not sure. I mean, it is really nice and comfy. This is the smallest size that they do, though. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to get a smaller one. But it's so... It's just... Yeah. I don't know. What do you all think? Can you tell me, please? So, I've put my new coat on um, to show you all because I just thought that clip I did where I was wearing it um, in front of the mirror, it wasn't really the easiest of things to see. So I've put it on and I've put the light on in the kitchen here so that you can hopefully see it a bit better. So you can see it's really, really nice and thick and it's so cosy and warm. Um, so you can, it might be able to see a bit better. It's sort of like, um, it's like a grey, um, it's got like a textured look to it, but it's, it's just very smooth and soft, but so, so warm. So if you can see, this is what it's sort of like, um, it's hard to show you, which was why I was doing it in the mirror, um, but I don't know how easy it is to see. So I can't decide whether it is just a bit too big, um, but I have got, it's a really thin top I've got on underneath this. So this actually might be good for, you know, when I, if I've got a thicker jumper on, um, this would allow for that underneath. So um, maybe this is the best size, I don't know, but I actually can't wait to wear it. I'm so excited to wear it, which is, I just, I know it's just ridiculous being excited by a new coat. But, um, so yeah, anyway, this is, so it says it's um, shower resistant. Um, you can't really get wall, proper waterproof ones like this, can you, anymore? And like I said earlier, I got the, um, so I got the size 8 and it was £38, which actually I think for a coat like this, and for this thickness is actually a really good price. You would pay a fortune for one in the a lot of the other clothes shops. So I'm quite impressed with the price of it and I do like it. And I mean the hood as well, look. Oof. So it's got a lovely, gorgeous hood. Look at that. So yeah, I love having a good hood on a coat. So uh, yeah, let me know what you all think. I would be interested to know, please. And um, sorry today's vlog has been really, really rubbish and it's just been really rambly with me as I ramble on with my ramblings because I forgot to take you on my proper ramble, which was an actual, well actually it really wasn't a ramble, it was just a walk. See, I'm rambling on again now, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's just me being... <laughs> just being me waffling on and um, I'm not sure what's happening tomorrow I'm hoping I will hear back from um, the people about the remember that voluntary role I told you all about well hopefully I'll hear back about that tomorrow and possibly go get to go and meet them fingers crossed um, but I, if I do I'll let you know how I go on with that and um, yeah I'll just have to wait and see what happens so until my next one I hope you all have a lovely Tuesday evening make sure you watch Bake Off and um, I'll see you next time bye